Hello, I'm going to try and show you in three minutes some of the things you can do with a Google Keyword Tool. So, the idea is we're looking for keywords that real people type in to Google. So, in where it says word or phrase, type the, your phrase there, and we're using car service. And underneath, when you click the search button, Google will show you things that people search for, including car service. It's also using the plurals as well. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so we've got car service and car service uh, uh, servicing, and it shows you down here, um, and it just gives you some ideas. It's a bit like brainstorming. So, what else can we do? Over here, instead of the where we click there, phrase that includes phrases where our term, which is car service, is part of the whole phrase. If we click exact, it'll give us more focused um, idea. It tells us that these figures here where it says uh, executive car service 140, that's the, the real number of people that actually do uh, search for this particular keyword. If we do it with phrase or broad match the, the results are not as accurate. So what's next? Over here we can, supposing we had a load of cities in here and we didn't want the like we've got Leeds there and Glasgow, Liverpool. What you can do, you make a list of um, cities, comma separate your list, Se separate your list with commas, and then you can just type it in there, or you can type them one at a time if you want to, and that will get rid of all the whatever you've typed into this exclude terms list will be excluded from here. And I've typed in loads of city names. So there are, the, the city names are excluded from here. They're not on the list anymore. You can include terms if you want to, to, to force the, uh, the term to be in the, 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 um, the search phrase down here. What else can we do? You can filter them. Supposing you think, oh, 4,000, that's a, a big, you know, because sometimes you get them with hundreds of thousands and they're, they're very difficult to compete against. So what you can do, you can filter the results so that you only see um, results with greater than or lesser than numbers. So we're going to choose more than a thousand searches and um, less than 5,000. So let's have a quick search. Now if you look down here now, there's no searches above, above 5,000 and none less than 1,000. We've limited what we, the search results we're going to see. Now, if you're searching for um, a local search, and this box here is just getting in the, in the way, this, uh, this column of the table is getting in the way, you can get rid of that by clicking Columns, and that's a global monthly searches column, so untick it, click Apply, and that column's gone. It's just saves us getting confused with having too many columns. Right, now sometimes if, you, if you've got a cafe or a restaurant or something like that, you might want to see how many people who use mobile devices are searching for your search terms. So where it says advanced options here, click the little button, advanced options, show ideas and statistics for, and we've got it set up desktops and laptops, but we're going to choose mobile devices with full internet browsers. Then we'll search again, and this will tell us, oh, there's not many people searching for, um, for that suspe sus specific keyword terms on a mobile phone. If, you had, if it was a restaurant, then you would get much more because those sort of searches are um, done on mobile phones. What else have we got? Oh, what else you can do as well? Supposing you've got a competitor and you think, by they're doing a really good job, they, they know what they're doing. You could use their website. Let's try. Now, supposing you were a search engine optimization person and you wanted to know what Google thought would be good search terms for a, a, a site like SEO Moz, you can just set our web, go back to, we're still on the mobile phone one, desktops and laptops. And we'll see now. These are things that Google thinks would be a good match for the um, 
the website that we've typed in here. So you've got word or phrase or website. We type that one into the website one. Well, I'll leave it there because I want to keep this a really short video, but that gives you a really quick idea of what you can do with a Google Keyword Tool. Thanks for watching.